Hello, welcome to church. How are you guys doing? How was your week? And I hope you guys are settling fine at school. Yeah, for those of you who have uh, yet to resume, you'll be resuming tomorrow. I pray for protection. God will guide and protect you and keep you from all evil in the name of Jesus. Those of you returning to boarding school, I pray for grace. I pray for protection. I pray um, God will guide you. God is going to give you understanding. You're going to um, excel in Jesus' name. God is going to make things beautiful for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yeah. Um, if this is your first time joining us, welcome. We're glad you're joining us. And I pray that your life will be transformed today by God himself in the name of Jesus. That your eyes of understanding will be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you guys. We've been in a wonderful, uh, a beautiful series. Yeah, it's a four-week series. Um, this is the week two of the series, Character Calling. And today, character calling, treasured. You are treasured. You are, yeah, when it means, you know what treasure is? Yeah, you are treasured. You are cherished. Yeah, by God Himself. You are a treasure. May God help us in the name of Jesus. We've been, it's a four weeks um, uh, lesson series um, that sh we're, we're learning. Yeah, um, both the faults and the reason for humanity. The faults and the reason for humanity. We've been, uh, it's a four week uh, lessons. This is week two. In this series, we're showing you guys uh, both the faults of and reason for humanity. The faults of and reason for humanity. We're trying to provide, God himself is helping us provide direction for walking away from sin and into sanctification. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. So before we go into the lesson proper, I'd like to take a short break. And please don't go away. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Welcome back. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this amazing series, Character Calling. We know, Lord, that you want us to become people of character, people that are light. You say we are the light of the world, a city set upon the hill that cannot be hidden, that we are the salt of the earth. Father, help us, O oh God, to show truly that we are the light of our world in the name of Jesus. Let our light so shine before men that they may see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because we will never remain the same. Because you are with us and you are for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So welcome to the week two of our series, Character Calling. Like I said earlier, today we're going to be talking about treasured. Treasured. Uh, what does it mean to really be treasured? Yes, uh, this week we're still going to talk about um, the second greatest commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. We're still uh, in the book of Mark. You know, we're learning that. In this, um, uh, at the course of this lesson, we're going to be reading so many scriptures. Yes, we're going to be reading so many scriptures. Uh, scriptures. Loving others begins and ends with Jesus Christ. That's true. Loving others. Let me repeat that again. Let me shout it. Loving others begins and ends with Jesus. Hallelujah. And the sacrificial love he has for us. And the sacrificial love he has for us. So some of the scriptures to help us understand. Love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 to 6. Psalms 139 verse 13 to 18. Then we're still going to read John chapter 17 verse 23 to 24 hallelujah why are we doing this lesson what is the objective of this lesson today treasured yeah you should be able to uh, we should be able to explain how god's word shows his great love for us in christ we should be able to explain how god's word shows his great love for us in christ after this lesson we'll recall that god loves us and how his this knowledge 
affects our personal character. Yes, like I said, I always tell you guys, you can't give what you don't have. For you to be a loving person, you need to be connected to the source of love. God himself is love. You know, no matter how you do, you turn, all you could get from our God, the creator, is love. And when you, you have him, you know, you have love. And when you have him, you'll be able to give love to others. So the most important thing, like the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you so know god love him and let this when, once you have god in the side you'll be able to show love you don't struggle anymore it becomes like a fish in the river you know you don't struggle to swim you don't also struggle to give love our uh, main point uh people of christ like character receive god's love and understand that they are his treasured creation i take that again the main point i want to get today is that people of christ like character receive god's love and understand that they are his treasured creation. We are God's treasured creation. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. We we'll begin to unpack today. Love your neighbor as, his, as yourself. Loving others begins and ends with Jesus. I've said that earlier. Loving others begins and ends with Jesus. He is a true source of deep and unconditional love. He loves us while, even while we're yet sinners, so the Bible teaches. But before we can love others in the way God commands, we have to receive and accept his love into our lives. In case you're listening to me and you've not received the love of God into your life, this is a good opportunity and say, Jesus Christ, come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Yes, and I guarantee you, you're going to have the love of God. You're not going to struggle to love even your enemies like we learn. Ask, uh, we're going to ask the following question. Let me ask you these questions. What does God say about who you are and what is love? What does God say about who you are and what is love? Why do you think it is important to understand and receive God's love for yourself? Why do you think it is important to understand and receive God's love for yourself? Hallelujah. Uh, foundationally to loving, to having a Christ-like character is understanding God's love for us. We need to understand, you yeah, know, for you to have a Christ-like character, you need to understand God's love for us. How does this work? How, how does this work? Praise God. In the letter to the book of, um, to the people of Ephesians, like we're going to learn, the apostle Paul prays that Jesus will make his home in our hearts. Hallelujah. And that he should allow, yeah, that we should allow ourselves to be rooted deeply in God's love. That we should understand how wide, how long, how high and how deep God's love is. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10. For we are God's masterpiece. Oh, I love this. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ. So we can do the good things he planted for us long ago. Wow. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm so thankful. This is wonderful. We are his masterpiece. What does it mean to be a masterpiece? You are his masterpiece. That's why the, the topic today is a treasured character calling. We are treasured. Hallelujah. Treasured. What does it mean to be a masterpiece? What does masterpiece mean? A work of outstanding artistry, skill, or workmanship. Hallelujah. You're not just ordinary. Yeah, God's God, the skillful God, took his time to make you. Seeing ourselves through God's eyes means we see ourselves as God sees us. That we are chosen children of God. And guess what? Chosen children of God that Jesus Christ died for. You must have this understanding you know, before you be able to love others. If you have this understanding then you will not struggle to love. We don't have to work for others' approval or rely on changing emotions and desires. We can rest in the knowledge and assurance that we are His. We belong to the God of the universe, the Creator. Let me read the book of Ephesians chapter 4, chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. We are His masterpiece. Seeing ourselves through God's eyes means we see ourselves as God sees us. Chosen children, Jesus died for. 
We don't have to work for others' approval or rely on changing emotions and desires. We can rest in the knowledge and assurance that we are His. Even before He made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in His eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into His own family by bringing us to Himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do and it gave it and it gave him great pleasure. This is what he wanted to do and it gave him great pleasure. Praise God. That is Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 to 5. Before God made the world, he loved us and chose us to be his. He created each one of us intimate and intentional. He formed us beautiful and complex S i'm still going to read psalms 139 verse 13 to 18. you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb thank you for making me so wonderfully complex hallelujah your workmanship is marvelous how well i know it you watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion. As I was woven together in the dark of the womb, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God? They cannot be numbered. Can't even count them. They are numbered the grains of sand. Hallelujah. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Oh God, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you guys something. God made each one of us on purpose. They're not just a mistake. And that's the truth. His works are wonderful. God made each one of us on purpose. And God's work, ha, just wonderful we are his most treasured creation have this understanding we are god's most treasured creation yet sometimes we feel less than wonderful don't we sometimes we feel less than wonderful we think that we are defined by our mistakes most times most times especially young people we think we are defined by our mistakes traumas and struggles or even sin all you remember are your sins your mistakes you allow them to define you know you are more than that god made each one of us on purpose his works are wonderful praise god but that is not the case at all when God thinks about us, he doesn't define us by the things that went wrong. When God sees us, he doesn't define us by the things that went wrong or even by the things we did right. No. Instead, God defines us as his masterpieces, his treasured children. And knowing and understanding this should encourage us to accept God's love. Glory to God. Why do you think Paul described us as God's masterpiece? And how does God make us his masterpiece? What do the details in Psalms? Read, take your time and read Psalms 139 again. Tell us about God's intentionality in creating us. And also look at what we read in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. Uses words like adopt and family. What does this reveal about the nature and character of God and his love for us? His treasured creation. See guys, what will you change about your life today if you truly accept God's love what would change if you truly accept and receive god's love for you today i guarantee you everything about you will change 
Think about the time you messed up and were critical of yourself. How do you think God will speak to you in that moment? Would God say, would God hate you? Would God stop loving you? Do you really think that was the case? Another question I ask you, you may be asking, mm, why, why did God create humans? A lot of people have that questions. Hallelujah. Let me help you out. God created humans to know and worship him. God created humans to know and worship him. We we'll do this by reflecting his image to the world around us. We we'll do this by reflecting his image to the world around us. We must become, there's a song that said, we are Christ representers. We are ambassadors, ambassadors. We belong to a kingdom. The Bible said, though we are in the world, but we are not of the world. We belong to a kingdom. Hallelujah. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, we open to, up today's lesson talking about how loving others begins and ends with Jesus. Before we can love others in the way God commands, we need to receive and accept his love for us. Hallelujah. We need to receive and accept his love for us. Sometimes past circumstances make it difficult for us to believe that we are who God says we are. No doubt about it. Sometimes past circumstances make it difficult for us to believe that we are who God says we are. Forgiven and unconditionally loved. Unconditionally loved. God does not have a condition for him to love you. Hallelujah. Right now, God does not have a condition for him to love you. Do you struggle with receiving and accepting God's love for you and believing what he says about you? Take some time and reflect what we read in the book of John chapter 17 verse 23. John chapter 17 verse 23. Think about how God loves each one of us as much as he loves his son Jesus Christ. God loves each one of us as much as he loves his son Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you because we understand your love for us this day. We are treasured. Made in the image and likeness of God, wonderfully made. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we'll never remain the same again in the mighty name of Jesus. Let lives be transformed. Let destiny be helped today in the name of Jesus. Help everyone struggling to accept your love today. Help them, Father, to see that they are treasured, that you love us unconditionally, they were unconditionally love. You don't give us condition to love us. You love us because you made us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because we walk in light of this truth all the days of our lives. Treasured. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is well with us. In Jesus' mighty name, pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, guys. Uh, like I said earlier, if you have not accepted the love of Jesus into your life, it's a good opportunity after this lesson for you to accept that love into your life so that you'll be able to love yourself and love others. You become loved. You become loved yourself because we are children of the Most High God. May God help us in Jesus' name. Until I come your way again, uh, your way again next week, stay blessed and remember you are treasured. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's say our every Sunday confession. It shouldn't be every Sunday confession. It should be our daily confession. Every day you wake up, you tell yourself, I am blessed. Praise God. I am prosperous. I am talented. I am creative. I am forgiven. I am redeemed. I am free. Say, I am valuable. I am anointed. Amen. I am equipped. God has equipped us. Amen. I am beautiful. Say that to yourself. I am beautiful. Amen. You are beautiful in Jesus' name. Say, I am attractive. May you attractive in Jesus' name. 
I am amazing. I love this one. I am amazing. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Child of God, say it like you mean it. I am a child of the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord. I have seeds of greatness. I have seeds of greatness on the inside of me. I'll become all he has created me to be. I will become all God has created me to be in the mighty name of Jesus. I am victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a victorious week, my friends, in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep you. God make his face shine over you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. You will excel in this life in the name of Jesus. You shall be called blessed. Blessed are you in your going out. Blessed are you in your coming in in the name of Jesus. You will know the truth and the Bible says if you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. You are free indeed in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashion form against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. The heart of God rests upon you. Uh, you shall flourish like cedar in Lebanon in the name of Jesus. Your life will not be cut short. You will live to fulfill your days and your assignment in this life in the name of Jesus. Thank you God for answering our prayers. I pray all this over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone say, Amen. God bless you.